How's it going, folks? It's your pal, Johnny O'Ryan here. And on today's episode, we have Campbell's Chunky Ghost Pepper Chicken Noodle Soup. I like spice. We've had a couple spicy episodes on this channel. When I saw this, I, I figured I'd give it a try. Seems pretty good. I hope the heat is there. That's what the taste test will be. So we'll find out. Just to look at the label a little bit. It has here 16 grams of protein. You get fiery heat, some heating instructions. We're gonna cook it up on the stove. Don't add water. Caution, sharp edges. You gotta be careful. Best if used by the date. Got all the ingredients I'm not gonna read through. As we have some bioengineered food ingredients. The nutrition I was looking at as well. Depends if you go by serving or can. The calories aren't too bad here. A couple things, everything's not too bad except the uh, sodium. I wish they would go a little bit less on the sodium. This is gonna be my dinner, so, so I am gonna eat it, but overall seems pretty good. Just gotta be careful, especially if you're sensitive to sodium. All right, uh, I'm gonna heat it up and then we'll give it a go. All right, folks, we got the soup heated up, so let's give it a taste and see how it is. All right, folks, the soup's heated up. You can see we have nice pieces of noodles and carrots and chicken. Definitely a lot of good options here. So it looks pretty good to me. Let's give it a taste test. I'm gonna start with just the, a uh, little bit of the broth. Has a good chicken noodle broth consistency. It's even a little thick, but I think chunky soup is a little thick. I'm gonna try out the chicken. Chicken's pretty good. And you get a noodle. The noodle's nice. Um, I wouldn't say quite al dente, but it's not like super overcooked. Now I think in like a regular's Campbell chicken noodle soup, the noodles are super soft. So this at least has a little bit of firmness to it. Get a bite like this. So the real question is the heat. I would say the heat is actually pretty solid on this. It It's more than I expected, I think. It's not at an uncomfortable level. It also might change as I eat more and more. Quantity always adds up. But I would maybe say it's about a three, three and a half out of 10. There's definitely the ghost pepper deep kind of burn sitting on my tongue and a little bit on my lips because it's touched my lips. So it's actually very good. Um, I always, I would think Tabasco for me is about a 1.5. I think on this scale. So I actually like this a lot. I think if I was getting a chunky product and I wanted some heat, I would actually be pretty happy like th with this. It's certainly not something that's crazy hot, but I don't think a lot of products tend to be that you get from like a grocery store or some kind of like chain restaurant. So I think this is actually really well done. The, the heat level, like I said, is higher than I would have guessed. It was really nice. I actually might keep this on hand if I ever feel like a chicken noodle snack. The heat in it's really nice. I actually might add a little bit of hot, hot sauce to it just to get the extra heat, but the base level is really nice. All right, folks. 
Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Later. We humbly appreciate the very important support from our Patreon subscribers. Thank you.